we do have a really strong team this year on the women's side. Uh, they are very young though, so we, we've got tons of talent, but not a lot of experience. Uh, certainly not a lot of experience at the national level. So we're going into this meet, you know, really excited about the talent we do have and the possibilities of putting it together on the right day, all together as a team. But with a young group, you know, it's you just never know what's going to happen after the gun goes off. So we're kind of prepping for that. Just having them, you know, have a great experience, learn from it, walk away, you know, stronger as a group and ready for what's next. The women's team championship this year, Villanova is, is definitely a clear favorite coming in. Um, Providence has looked, you know, pretty strong this year as well. But after that, I do think there's some openings. Our best place that we've been since we entered the Big East is fourth. Uh, so our women's team is looking to improve upon that. You know, Butler's had a, a solid year this year. They beat us once, but anything can happen on race day. And we're looking forward to taking that young group, putting it all together at, at the championship meet and be able to move up from our fourth place finish uh, from 2015. Both Anna and Jenna have had you know, pretty good seasons this year. I think they're in a great spot to be top 20, which would be all Big East. Uh, honestly, my goals for them are, are a little bit higher. So if you're in the top 10, it's first team all Big East. And I think both have potential of finishing in the top 10. And then going back one more spot, uh, either Jenny Pryle or freshman uh, Maya Hannigan, I think they both have an outside chance of sneaking in there for a top 20 spot as well. So individually, you know, our, our goals would be to have three girls that are all Big East, but for sure our top two girls all Big East. Yeah, the guys have had more success this year than they have in the past five years combined, but they're super hungry going into Big East. They're ready for that next breakthrough. Uh, it really just comes down to us having a fifth guy that's a little bit closer uh, than our, our fifth guy has been so far. And we've got probably three or four guys on the team, uh, all young guys that have the potential to be in that spot. But if we can make that happen on Saturday, uh, I think our men's team can finish as high as fifth, uh, which would be moving up three spots in the Big East and be an outstanding finish to their season. Uh, we've got two guys that I think have an outside shot of being in the top 20. So it would be Grayson Jenkins and Tom Gardner. Although Tom's just a freshman, he's been running outstanding. If him and Grayson can latch onto one another throughout the race uh, and finish well over the last 2K on this loop course, I think they've got a, a good shot of, of being all Big East. And those would be our first two all Big East performers on the men's side. Uh, and, and we've run consistently well through four guys all year, uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, those other two, you know, coming through like they have been and just finding that, that last guy that we need to, to fill in the fifth spot.